Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and we have I think the February sketchbox and can we take a moment to look at this this is adorable this is by Ch I, I'm not even gonna try to I apologize but this this is awesome and that's that's the person so I love this. I, I, this is obviously, um, they've done art from a previous box and you can send it in and they'll put it on the box if it's good enough. And I, I'd like to know what what box did this. I, I, I'm curious about that, I must admit. But this is adorable and hello. Hello, Sam here. Um, let's have a look inside, shall we? Now, I've, I've got over the tortoise. Right, so we've got, ooh, oh, I like that. Now that I like. That is by Cassie Murphy. I can have a go at that one. Um, a web designer and artist. Well, there you go. For, oh, for Valve Software. Oh, I say. There's all the sort of Twittery stuff and Instagrammy stuff. That's gorgeous. Am I going to, am I making that? I don't know. <laughs> Let's get that out of the way. Oh, oh, it's a tin. What have we got? We've got oh, credit colour, watercolour, graphite pocket sets. So graphite watercolour pencils. I've, I've had a go at these before. Oh, they're all wrapped. Oh, it's like Christmas. I, I like these. They give you a very muted colour palette. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. And we got three more. Oh, right. These are the... I've got some of these, actually. I think we've had these in the boxes before. So this is the graphic tint from Derwent and colour tint. tint from Spectrum Noir in Café Olay, Chestnut and Ivy. Stay. stay. Just just stay. Just stay there. Stay. Anyway, right. And a very helpful paintbrush because, yes, watercolour pencils. I've had a go before. I like them. Whether I'm any good at them, that's something else entirely. But I do like them. So we've got a six round oh blimey right drawing graphite putty that looks nice and messy doesn't it oh god i'm at my work desk right now so this is probably a bad idea water soluble drawing graphite putty oh we've got two more things what are these little uh, i assume graphite paint pans oh, a new item from derwent graph graphitint pans offer a traditional watercolour experience with tinted graphite try using the pans to fill in backgrounds or large areas of colour exclamation mark 3.99 each i think these are like what i was using uh in my previous yeah my previous um video with the graphite watercolour stuff so oh, i'm having another go apparently and we've got the drawing graphite putty oh this water soluble putty acts similarly to ink sticks as you can add water to create a wide range of values try diluting it to create subtle gradients or mixing it with other water soluble mediums to create your own tinted graphite so you could put a bit of watercolor in there and have it, the water like if you put blue watercolor in you'd have blue tinted graphite okay oh and i just found the sticker Look at that dinky little thing. That is so cute, I almost lost it. So this is what we've got. Um, let's have a go with it, I suppose. All right, let's have a go at this first. The Graphite Aquiel from Critacolor. Okay, this is, what are you? You're gray. Oh, they don't have any names. It's 18000, there you go. That's That's nice, isn't it? Oh, it's darker than I was expecting. So the idea is you use uh, water to, to smooth them out. And I like it because you can you can get that sort of pencil-y, sketchy look. And, and then let's add some water and have a look. Then do that. With the, with the light that's yeah that's pretty good that is pretty good that's that's moving about nicely but obviously the thicker do you do oh actually hang on Ooh, i was gonna say some of these uh watercolor pencils they um 
if you do them too heavily, it's like that and you can still see the lines, which is a nice um, effect if that's what you're looking for. But actually, rub them enough. That's, that's staying there a bit, but that's not half bad. Depending on what uh, effect you want, really, but you can full on watercolour them. Okay, I'm impressed. This one is 18008, uh, darker version. Is this, yeah, is this supposed to be blue, do you reckon? Do you reckon that's blue? Bluey grey, maybe? As always with my swatching, there's no rhyme or reason to it. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. Can I get those two to meet, do you reckon? This is actually, I like this. I've, I've found with the graphite stuff, it dries a bit quicker sometimes. But this, this is moving about a lot, if that makes sense. You, you can you can spend a bit of time moving it about the paper and you can still can you see that on the on the screen you can still see the wiggle a little bit but not as much and it might be an effect that you want so okay i'm enjoying these so far next we have oh we've changed up the numbers a bit one eight three oh six red oh it does a little thing on it those don't these do right so they're just pencil-y and you've got red blue green and white so these are colored kind of oh blimey wow okay that still looks gray to me do i wiggle sometimes when you add this it just you have an explosion of color I mean, I wouldn't call it an explosion of colour, but you can definitely see the, it is a tint after all. You can definitely, or you could do some stormy, I've got really do, into doing landscapes and try and do stormy skies. You could do a stormy sky with this, couldn't you? Look at that. Let's pretend this is my, uh, this is my painting. This is what I'm doing for you. I'm getting a bit carried away. I'm using my sort of watercolour-y paper for this one because I figured no, if I'm going to be playing around with a lot of water I'd better right, this is the blue literally blue oh look at that and stick the green down as well just just you know that's land there that's that's your land that's what you're getting This stage of the video, you figure out she doesn't know what she's doing, really, does she? No, not really. Stick a bit of white here and there. If it's there, you use it. It's really picking up the other colours. See if that makes any difference. Right, let's slap on a bit of water and see what we've done. Ooh, I like the blue. I'm liking the blue. Let's stick it up there a bit as well. This is not the, the best way of showing you, but you, you can see sort of the effect that you can get. Let's really whack it on and see what happens. Right, down into the green, yeah. Oh yeah, you can see it as soon as you do it. I really like these, yeah, I guess muted, muted colours that you get with these graphite tint things. I still have to use these ones, but I'm happy with this tin. This is, this is nice, this is. I'm trying to think if I've actually got some of these. I definitely had, the boxes went through, I think a stage of everything had some sort of graphite tint in it from squeezy tubes to pans to to pencils but i'm not complaining i quite like it i think i like it very much 
I'm going to try and draw a person, you know. Not so good with people. You can argue there's not so much I'm good at anyway, but people, yeah, I don't know. My people turn, sort of turn out a bit weird at times. Let's put some trees. Just a few. A bit building. It's a building. Can you tell? It's a ooh, church. It's got a church. We've got a church, people. It's very easy to move about. You know, it stays, it stays uh, wet quite a while. Um, right, so these are the Durant graphic tint. This is ivy. See, let's put it. Oh, now that's a that's the lighter colour, definitely. You can you can see that much lighter. And then we've got the cafe au lait. So maybe, or can we have a dirt path? Do you reckon? Just leading down and around. <laughs> oh, this is not the best way of using these, but oh, why not? Aren't they supposed to be fun, people? And then, why are these different colours? What's it? Oh, this is the colour tint. Yeah, this is by Spectrum Noir. These ones are the Durants. And this is Chestnut. This gives a redder, redder brown, I'd say. So if we sort of use that around the edges just to give a bit of... um, Does this count as my painting? don't think so. I want a person. These seem much... Oh, now look, that is not moving at all nearly. At all nearly? Nearly at all as much. Words. I know them. As, as this. Can you see that? That's what I meant by the, the lines remain. So that's something to be careful with. I mean, you could do the old use a pan and just scribble it in there and then add water, but... I, I like using mediums as they're meant. I want to use them as pencils rather than, you know, just using them like they're a pan or something. I, I always, I think I say that every single time, but I like to use it as a purpose. It's, you know, rather than maybe get a marker, use it as a marker as opposed to just getting the ink or paint or whatever out of it and using a paintbrush. It just seems to defeat the object of buying it in marker form. This is... This is rather pretty, isn't it? It is, It is. you know, it's moving. You see the odd line, but it is moving. So I'm happy enough with that. Let's put a bit of water there and just get the colour in there a bit more. Yeah, these lines are not going anywhere. So that's something to, to consider. But I, mean, I did it a bit too, you know, this was more scribbled. So these lines are moving about but there you go that's what we have have i done everything oh my haven't done these and i ignored this stuff oh i'm not looking forward to this stuff i'm gonna make such a mess let's have a go at these so we apparently have juniper and indigo i don't know if you can see but i reckon this is the juniper and that's the indigo you can just make out a difference of color just not much though so this is kind of like um, heather <laughs> growing onto onto the the pathway there. Get they are. I really really like these colours. Just this muted look. This is these are gorgeous. I'm very happy with this box. And there's so much. That's a good thing about this. You might be thinking, I want to try the Critical or I want to try the Derwent, but yeah, it's quite expensive to buy an entire pack. Even you know. I can't think of any way you could buy, I'll stick this up here, Ooh. buy just like a single pencil, generally you have to buy the pack and that's that's quite the commitment. So something like this, it does give you a chance to, to try what we've got, one, two, three, four, five different types of, uh, of, of graphite, watercolour-y type stuff, which I think is pretty, uh, pretty decent of them. <laughs> so it's a good way of... Um, Hashtag absolutely nowhere near sponsored, by the way. But I think they are a good way of testing different stuff and finding things that you like. Sometimes I've had these boxes and I've really, really liked something in there. So I've looked into getting more of it. Um, and other times it's been like, no, not for me. I think I'll leave that alone. Um, she says as she picks this stuff up. I mean, it's putty, so... 
you break a bit off and, and stick it in there? I, I don't know. I'm scared. Let's have a go. Okay, it seems like it's really moist, but there you go. <laughs> this is my problem. Um, oh, oh, what on earth is that? Gold nose. All right, okay. <laughs> You should just do that. It's finger painting. Ooh, I mean, you get a nice black. You will get a nice black from it. Let's um, stick a bit in here. The one clean one I have. And a load of water. I'm, I'm scared of putting this down in case it sort of falls out and covers everything. It's not, it's not, it, it, as soon as you touch it, you're covered, but it's not actually as sticky as I was thinking. It looked moist in there. And I suppose, oh, I'll stick it in here. Let's stick it in here. You could water it down even more and get a much lighter. I, I see the purpose. I see the purpose. I'm just not sure if the purpose is worth the gunkiness, if that makes sense. Yee! I'm playing around with watercolour. You just sort of slop it on and, and hope for the best, or is that not the right way of doing it? Anyway, um, I'm going to have a go at a proper painting. This, this is my swatch. There you go, that's what we ended up with. But I'm thinking stormy skies, I'm thinking nightish time and somebody doing stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll see what I come up with. So I've done, I've kind of done a sketch. I have had a go. We'll just put her over there. I think I've used, uh, using too much. You don't need to use too much of this. It done our thumb. Um, done half travel so we're going to use i think this is our closest skin tone unless we want sort of a green alien lady so we're going to go with that for the skin i think sort of a bluey hood quite white kind of like in this I kind of you can't really see i've, I've rubbed it out so much but I, i've kind of yeah copied um the idea so this will be white and then we can have and it goes like this so she can be quite dark and this can be quite dark and this can be greeny um that's my plan anyway so huh where does where to start there's your question which is lighter do you reckon like the cafe au lait a latte yeah that one um yeah i'm worried about the actual graphite but i don't want to get rid of this too much so I can't see what I'm doing that's a thing I don't want to line it or anything there isn't anything um there's the darker pencil I suppose but and and huh, this stuff which I will have a go at but we'll, we'll see so if we use this as a lot as line work basically and then see how we go actual shading but that should then give kind of a crisp line to it as long as I'm careful with the water I use way too much water this is what I'm discovering the last few things I've done have kind of been uh, watercolor ink a bit of this stuff and yeah I am discovering I don't know if use a hell of a lot of water and I don't think I need to I don't think it helps so I'm gonna try and hold off on that and just do a bit of shading just a little bit and yeah see if I can get this to to work and if I do it lightly I can always add more that's something else I forget you can always add more you don't have to go the whole hog the first time I'll use this one as well just to add a little because that yeah you can see that's a bit darker I don't want it to get too too muddy using too many right again you can always add more but you can't take it off. Actually, this is apparently it's, you can rub it out. Let's have a look. No, 
not so much. Okay, it's not that kind of graphite. Never, never mind. Never mind. We're, we're fine. We're fine. All right, let's have a go, shall we? This is a, the, the t uh, first layer. I think I want to, like this one, she, she went a little muddy around here, but this is, this I use the red, this one. So I may add a bit of this to it, just to give it a bit more, a bit more something and sort of, oh, blimey. Oh, you can suddenly see it, can't you? Oh, that may have been a mistake, we'll find out. Is that things? There's no mistakes, just happy accidents? Yeah, there's mistakes. Let's try, even though I hate doing it, using it that way. Yeah, it's it's that's the muddiness that I don't want, but I do want to get some sort of darker colour in there. Is it weird to try the blue? is actually just going in more forcefully with this stuff just to because I think the red uh, best not to put your um thing in that way rather than that way this is this is where you dunk it in the water not there not 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 that way huh I am glad it, it takes its time drying so you've got a bit more time to sort of play about with it which is certainly time that I need. I'm starting to actually rip the paper up now, so I think I am overworking it. Let's try this one again. So pick up a little bit on the brush. This is the um this is the chestnut. It's kind of pink. I'd say pink. I'm gonna let her dry. I'm kind of um yeah, picking up the paper a bit, so possibly not the best paper to use, but I wanted to do this in here. I think I want border. Do I want a border? I think I want a border. All right, now it is time for the sky. I think I want a red sky. I keep, last few things, I keep trying to do a red sky and failing just abysmally. Um, do I want to go around this first? Hmm. Maybe in grey, just sort of incorporate this. Just to do sort of the, the cliffs, just also, so it's there and I can see it. And we'll just have to see. There's also a little a little pathway there. So she's sort of staring off into the distance and wondering where the path is going to take her. And I'm, I'm going for, I'm going for pensive. I don't know if I'm succeeding in pensive, but I'm aiming for pensive. Um, Right. Oh, scared. Um, maybe a bit of blue up the top and then red and then coming down to, to just white at the bottom or clear. I'm trying not to do it too much. I don't want the pencil um, to show through on this one. These ones, these ones are pretty darn good, but still. I don't want it too dark either. I keep going really dark like this one is. Yeah, it's just all the colours. Just all the colours. 
Um, it's not really what I'm looking for. All right, what do you reckon? Where's my paintbrush gone? Oh, there you are. Hello. All right, let's have a go. We're just having a go. Everything's fine. It's only a sketchbook. It's not like I'm putting it on YouTube or anything like that. That would be silly. do anything if I add a bit of white to the white no idea but at least it'll be something can't even see it I'm sure white exists for a reason just never really found why oops went over a bit but that's fine that's fine everything's fine I think the white is actually doing something. It's, it's helping sort of mould the paint around. I think. I think that's helping. I must remember where the line is for the land so I don't go too over it. But I've got the odd little cloud shape come out. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. It's kind of cloudy. It's definitely lighter than I have been doing. I think I've been going a bit overboard. Oops, almost went past the line. With um with skies and seas. Anything really. Okay, I'm happy enough with that. Now I'm gonna use this uh is this the blue? Yeah, blue, it says blue. And one of the greys to add um this kind of shading on, on the uh on a hood, I hope. Hopefully that's enough to actually spread around. Again, I can add more. Can't take it away. And this, I mean, look, that, that really does spread. And it's it's got a bit of brightness to it, which I am not sorry about at all. You don't want to use too much. There's the grey. Must remember to use that putty stuff as well at some point. Maybe on the background, maybe a bit on the uh, on the rocks we could use that. It's always confusing, I, I find anyway, with material trying to figure out where where the folds go, you know, how the material works when sort of being draped around like this. Interesting one to try and figure out. I think we need a little bit more somewhere. Just a little bit more just to pick up and, and spread around a bit. I'm running out of blue. So this bit here is sort of the inside material. So maybe we do need a bit more of the grey just to differentiate between the outside and the inside, I assume the inside will be a bit darker, if only because of shadow, the light's sort of coming in that way, which means more shadow there as well. Oh, we'll get there. So I may have I may have had to do some work. But anyway, back to this. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. Do you yank a bit off? Do you just pick it up? I suppose. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it either. It's, yeah, it's essentially paint, isn't it? Graphite paint, just in a squidgy medium. Look at that. Look at the squidge on that. Right, um, let's get that and then put a nitty bitty bit in there and a ton of water and see if we can water it down to a lot less. There we go. Shall we have a go at the mountains in this? So it's the mountains are grey more than colour. I may, I may have done the rest of her thing. Uh, it's all right. You know, uh, name of the channel. It'll do. <laughs> Just call it It'll Do Art and, and that's my lot. Let's see if we'll stick this down actually. Will you stick down? Kind of. There we go. Right. Uh, don't know what I'm doing. I think go around the edge and so I went I went round and sort of softened the 
the, the edge up a bit that line so it's line work now isn't it just a tad and I suppose we want sort of quite severe lines because that's what's there's a bit of paper gone I can't find it oh well that's what the other one was just quite illustrative is that the right word let's get a bit of this darker one going Maybe just down the bottom bit. I don't think I've, I've added enough. Let's add a bit more. Let's be a bit braver, shall we? Help. I could break a bit off, but... I mean, that is that will last you a lifetime. <laughs> That's ridiculous. There's so much there. Um, but we'll just do a little little darkening down the bottom, maybe like that because I'm thinking I should have started over there really shouldn't I yeah but never mind it's it's fine I'm sure it'll be fine is this looking like rock I'm not sure it's looking like something so there is a bonus I'll leave some bits for some a bit of greenery here and there like it's cascading down. I don't want to do too much. I always do too much. I'm now going to try and go over here and not completely gog it up. But um, yeah, good luck, Sam. Now, this is actually reminding me, and it does say like those ink stinks, but it's reminding me of that Sumi ink. Where it's just like a block of ink and, and you, you rub it on, on water and... And you get this. So that's what it's actually reminding me of. Ink that doesn't dry very quickly. Does that make any sense? I'm not sure. Right, so I think I made a big enough mess there. Um, I'm going to add the green. Do I want to add it while it's still wet? Probably not. Um, I'll do this bit down here. This is just sort of loose, loose foliage we're going with. Very loose foliage, giving semblance of leaves, if that's possible. Um, I've put the blue in here as well, actually. That would give a nice sort of difference to it, rather than just this green and, and hope for the best. But that's what's going on around here. This, people, is loose foliage. That's what we're calling this style. We just... Shove it on and hope for the best. There you go. I'll stick a bit of blue in there as well. I did end up accidentally using a bit of the green in here. So it, it moulds quite nicely together. So I'll just put little bits around. Oh, don't want it next to the blue of that. So we should go more green there. It'll be quite darker in here. Put green alongside her. And then maybe a bit of a grey, just here and there. Just give it a bit of something. And shall we even go? Do you know what I haven't used? These ones. Maybe we'll use these ones alongside it, um, colouring it in. So we'll get a little bit of the in not indigo which one's this juniper lovely just a just a tad just a taste of it a bit more than that there we go and we'll just go around so it's yeah an idea of leaves if i was gonna be really pretentious with naming uh, paintings it would be called an idea of leaves I 
does that look like an idea of leaves to you? Not a hundred percent sure, but maybe get a bit more of the green here and there. But that's either leaves or it's like a, you know, tree mountain. Uh, it's one or the other. I'll leave that for you to decide. But this area here, I want to do in the brown. And then either side, ideally it should be green, but we've done this now. Um, hmm. Unless we do water, brown, brown. <sighs> I kind of wanted a pathway. So... Well, I could do black, black with the, with the, yeah, we'll do that. We'll, we'll do this first. I know what I'm doing. Oh, I missed a bit of my idea of leaves. Want that in there. There we go. Now this is going to, oh, I should have done that first. Never mind, never mind. We'll get even more of this black graph graphite, I think. What if we just paint it on? Yeah, that goes pretty pretty dark. Pretty dark. Let's do the land. Because really mountains are like land, you know? So they've kind of got black bits, so the land can be sort of black. Does that make sense to our eyes? I'm not sure. But it's what's happening, so <laughs> there you go. Can you get any darker? I don't know if you can hear that, but the ice cream man's outside. I don't know if that's the best idea these days, but um, yeah. I want it darker than this. So that's going to be pure. Pure graphite. Pure putty there. There we go. Right, we'll let that dry for a little bit, I think. While we're doing that, I need to do a face. Um, I guess red for the lips makes the most, most sense. Can I get around there? That looks weird, but I've got an idea. Yeah, we'll see if it works, won't we? It's more grey than I thought it was going to be, but I think that'll be okay. Now her eyes. Um, good question. Should we go with this grey? All right, good then. Give them that serious sharpening. Just have to see what we can make. trying to do someone's eyeliner but um eh, it'll do um bit of bit of nose i've given her a little bump in the nose i just thought that would give her a little something something different i'm just got a bit of bit of work line work around here just a little bit and eyebrows i mean it's not the worst terrible awful thing i've ever done um this bit here i kind of want a yellow have a yellow. Let's use this red and hope it's more, you know, more prominent if I use it a bit more. There you go. She looks like something. <laughs> We're going with that. So just this little bit to do. Hopefully it won't leak into the into that black. Ah, be fine. It's dried, pretty much. There you go. I think that'll do me. I think I've had enough. Oh, the trees! No trees! I want little trees and things. Let's put little trees in, or whatever this is. There we go. Just a little, just a little hint. Um, not sure about her nose. Not at all. 
And now I'm not sure if I made it any better. But there you go. Don't want to take away the texture of the um, pen for that. But there we go. Okay. I'm going to stop faffing about with it because I've got to get back to work. Anyway, there you go. I, li I like this box. I like this stuff. I'm still obviously practicing with it and figuring out what I can do with it. But I do like this, the graphic thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, we got a lot. You can't say we didn't get a lot. There's quite a few things there. Definitely. But anyway, I'm leaving it there. Thank you very much for watching. If you stayed this long, thank you. And please like and subscribe. It would be absolutely awesome of you. And I will hopefully see you next time for whatever we get up to. Bye. Thank you.